Hey folks, Dr. Bob McCauley, absolutely one of my favorite herbs in the world. I take it every single day, ashwagandha. There's a few herbs that I take every single day because they're just absolutely amazing and Mukun is one and the other one is ashwagandha. I mean, I never miss. This stuff is, is great uh, in so many levels. It's, it's unbelievable. It's not really well known and yet it's probably, you know, definitely one of the most widely taken herbs in the world. Probably the most widely taken herb in India. It's an Ayurvedic. That means it comes from India. Um, you know, and, but the other one there might be what they call Tulsi or Holy Basil. That's really, really popular too. And I love that one. These are both happen to be adaptogens, meaning they kind of will take your, 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 the problem that you have, the health challenge, and adapt itself to it is the best way to explain that. And, you know, and, and really help you with it. So, um, you know, an adaptogen relieves pressure or stress on your cells. And what, by doing that, it helps you to heal. So ashwagandha actually means horse-like or smells like a horse because I guess it kind of smells like a horse a little bit. It's not the worst herb in the world. I take some that are much, much worse like bacopa. That's like, uh, that's the worst thing. But that's incredible for concentration, bacopa. Another Ayurvedic. I love the Ayurvedic herbs much more than the Chinese herbs and I understand them a lot better. But anyway, uh, horse-like or horse horse smell, that's what ashwagandha, ashwagandha means. Winter cherry is another name for it. A lot of people call it Indian ginseng because, you know, it's, you know, just, it has some of the same properties. But the reason I love ashwagandha, it does so many different things. Num top of the list, increases stamina endurance. Let me tell you something. If you want all day energy and not this kind of hyped up energy, because honestly, you know, ginseng gives you more of a, a spike in your energy. But if you look, you want something that's just going to go all day and you just get energy and go and go and go. Ashwagandha is the herb for you. Well, besides having giving you energy and endurance, um, it is it does boost uh, testosterone levels in men, increases uh, fertility in men. Okay, uh, but it reduces inflammation, and it does this again. That's what adaptogens, the adaptogens do. They reduce the stress on the cell so that the body can heal itself. But you got blood stability. Uh, it, you know, it bl stabilizes blood levels. It has anti-cancer properties. Uh, it kind of balances out all your hormones kind of like maca maca does that uh, it releases and you know kind of re reduces anxiety in the body um, as I said inflammation uh, balances triglycerides high, high cholesterol uh, great for you know memory and brain function so this is really one of the most incredible herbs and round herbs rounded herbs you're ever going to have out there it also helps your thyroid balances that so it helps with metabolism but again Again, that's what adaptogens do. They kind of just uh, almost like a shotgun effect, except that um, you know they they're able to really just help your body in the way it needs to be helped. That's an adaptogen. That's what it does. Ashwagandha, all day energy. I take it every single day. I never miss. It's one of my core herbs. I'm going to give you another one soon. I've talked about it before. Makuna. That'll save that for another another little video here. Ashwagandha, Dr. Bob McCauley. See you guys next time. Absolutely love your comments um, about these videos. Let me know what you think. And for me, it's all about one thing, all natural health. I'm always open-minded to something new. I just want the truth. Dr. Bob, see you next time.